Here is a beautiful ripe Rolinia and in Kyogre we're really proud of being able to grow this fruit because it's very tropical and we're very subtropical so we have frosty winters. In order to grow a Rolinia here in Kyogre we firstly need to protect it from frost uh, and then we just need to hope we have a really good season. So we have this growing in the biodome and the biodome is a food forest environment that Paul and Andre have created for us. It's in an old poly house and the idea is to plant a lot of trees in a small space and to keep them compact. And this particular Rolinia, we cut back hard. So the aim is to keep it at three meters. It keeps the fruit in reach. It's in a warm microclimate environment and it has allowed us to successfully grow this fruit. And I'm gonna show you what it's like inside. I'm often wondering how best to describe a Rolinia. What do they taste like? I'm gonna show you what they're like inside. Now look at that, it has beautiful creamy flesh. It's quite jelly-like in texture and it's quite lemony in flavor. So I always say it's like a cross between lemon meringue pie and jelly. But if anybody has some other descriptions, I would really love to hear them. So if you want to add your comment with what you think the Rolinia tastes like, please let me know. But I'm gonna have a taste here today. Look at that. So it's an anona fruit. So you can see it's related to the custard apple. Looks like a custard apple, but the flesh is not gritty and grainy like a and flaky like a custard apple. It's really smooth and creamy. It's got the seeds through it. Not overly seedy. I'll just have a bite and let you know. Mmm. Super smooth. Really refreshing. So it's just got a hint of tanginess to it. Very, very, very silky smooth flesh. Absolutely lovely. I imagine if that was chilled off in the refrigerator for a little while and on a hot day, there's going to be nothing better than a freshly picked Rolinia. So there you go, Rolinia in Kyogle. We are really proud of this fruit. Now, Sarah, I have got here a Rolinia. I don't know if you, have you ever tried a Rolinia? Oh. I don't think I've tried a, a Rolinia, no. I, I would love it if you would like to try this. Sure, and which is a good piece, Kat. Oh, look, you know, that big meaty piece there, <laughs> I would pick. Oh, up. right, this, gonna, is, it's a bit this of a is meal. going to be really glamorous, I'm sure. <laughs> How is. do I deal with these seeds? You okay. just spit them out. You know I'm a bit dodgy with seeds. <laughs> don't swallow Can them. I eat this core part in the middle? Yeah, why not? It's good, though. I'm trying to think what it's like. It's like pear without the grit. Really, really smooth, quite gushy but very mild and creamy. That is really delicious. It is very creamy. Sweet and very similar to a custard, but doesn't quite have that grittiness like a custard apple can have. It's, yeah, it's yummy, it's nice. It's, it just reminds me a lot like a custard apple. Mmm, really sweet. Sweet. Sweet and it's yummy, yeah. Custard apple. Yeah, right. With a Sorry. mango texture. With a mango texture. Mm. Smooth flesh. Softer avocado like. No, oh, that's a good description. And how do you rate that? Oh, eight. Eight out of ten. Yeah. You no, know, Rolinia from Jenny. Even more. More! <laughs> <laughs> My name is Kath Kermode. Thank you for watching this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Please click on the bell to subscribe to our videos so you don't miss any. And keep watching here at dailiesfruit.com.au.